Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the sales that I got this week at Super One and what I'm planning on doing with them. First thing is, it is November 1st, so they had the Halloween kits for sale. This was a $5 off coupon, so I got this for $3. They did have more of them, but I just decided on grabbing one because it has eight cookies, which is fine for my three kids. So this is something fun. We're actually gonna go ahead and do this this year. We're not gonna save it for next year or anything. So this is something fun that the kids will get to do when they get home. Yay, more sugar. And then meat wise, I got some good deals on some chorizo, $3 off. So this was $3.01 for a pound and a half. And then this was almost two pounds and I had a $3 off coupon. So that makes this $4.32 for almost two pounds of chorizo. So I have those two. And then they had ground pork on sale. Look at that, looks great. Well, not sale, but it had a coupon. It was $3.68 a pound, and this came out to be one pound, so it was $3.86. And with a $2 off coupon, that makes it $1.86 for a pound of ground pork. So I got four packets, so I got four pounds. And then the last thing I was able to score was some chicken. And this is the best way I can suggest stocking your, your freezer and having food is getting stuff when it's like this. Like get to know your meat guy and figure out when they mark stuff down. Cause this was, let's see, it's six and a half pounds of split breast, fryer fryer breast, so chicken breast. So it still has the bone in it and everything. But this was six and a half pounds for so sixteen oh seven was the original price for two fifty a pound. And I was able to get it for eight dollars off. So it was fifty percent off pretty much. So I was able to get it for eight oh seven. And that's a lot of chicken. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get this in the oven and get this cooking. And then I thought I would make some meatloaf with this chorizo and the pork. Doesn't that sound good? So let's get this on the pan and get this cooking. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carolina. I live in Montana. I do a lot of pantry cooking, budget shopping, and product reviews on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you come join my channel. All right guys, so let's get in here. First thing I'm gonna do is just get it on this pan. Now I'm not gonna wash my chicken. It is actually suggested that you do not wash your meat because it just ends up spreading around more bacteria and it doesn't really do anything. So don't wash your meat. Oh, that's big. So you can see right here is the bone. So you'd be able to even, if we wanted to take this off, you could even take it off the bone here. I think I'm just gonna roast it though. I loved baked chicken. I have my oven set at 400. All right, let me see, okay. So I'm gonna put some olive oil on these. That skin is a fat though and it will help crisp up but I'm gonna do a little extra because this is just the the breast, so it's um, light, light meat, you know, you could use the extra. All right, and then for the top, I'm going to put some salt. Let's see, I'm just gonna pour some in my hand. I need to get that in a new container. You wanna heavily, heavily season this. Don't be shy. That salt will kind of crisp up the skin, which will, seal in the juices as it's cooking. So you want a nice juicy, crispy skin. All right, pepper, I don't mind the dishwasher. If you hear it, she's working hard this morning. All right, and then I have some powdered garlic here. This was actually minced garlic, one of those big containers from Costco, and I dehydrated it and turned it into garlic powder because I didn't want it to go bad but it's kind of clumping. She's clumping on my Scotty. All right, there we go. Don't be afraid of the seasoning because there's a lot of meat in there that doesn't have the seasoning on it. You know? And then last, we're gonna add some smoked paprika. That's really gonna help give it some color and some good flavor. Paprika is just dehydrated bell peppers if you did not know that. 
So smoked paprika is a smoked bell pepper. It's dehydrated, you know? Pretty cool. All right, there we go. So this is going in a 400 degree oven and it's probably gonna be in there for a good hour. So let's get her in there. I'm gonna go ahead and set a 40 minute timer though and we'll check it from there. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up this meatloaf. Let me take off my rings here. I'm gonna get pumpkin pie later today and that'll be fun. So I'm going to mix all this pork and one of the packs of chorizo. Yeah, and then uh, let's do the bigger one, almost two pounds of chorizo, which is also just pork with seasoning in it, so it kind of works out. All right, and then this one we're going to cook up and have a separate... And then I have a thing of salsa here. I'm gonna pour this in here because it has vegetables in there. It has flavorings. It has like, tomatoes. Like some people would put ketchup in this. Um, I'm just gonna use all of it. So that was 16 ounces of salsa, one pound. And then I am gonna add some mustard. some homemade breadcrumbs here that I need to get used up so we're gonna put these in here these are like Italian seasoning so these have some flavor and then I have four eggs and then I am gonna put just a little bit of salt and then I have one bag here that I'm going to put half of it in this, and then the other half we're going to cook for dinner. Best thing to do is just get your hands in here, break it all up. I also like to use game meat in my meatloaf, mix it up with like beef and, and chorizo like this, and it'll kind of cover up the flavor if you don't like the the game meat, which I like game meat. I just, the deer kind of has a stronger flavor than say elk does, but I'm sure most of you don't use game meat. So you can just use any kind of meats in this though. You could do turkey in here mixed with beef. Like that's a good thing about meatloaf, whatever you have or whatever's on sale, you can mix it all together. It doesn't have to be the same every time. Alrighty, we got a big pan of meatloaf here. And then we got our one for the freezer. This is very full. Hopefully this will vacuum seal. <laughs> I'm gonna cover this. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven with our chicken. Now we are going to cook this last pound and a half of chorizo here and have this cooked up and then we'll put it in the freezer pre-cooked. Look at all that I was able to get rid of, yeah. Teresa's cooking. We have my chamber vac in here. What I'm going to do to seal this. Let's see how it does being that full.
Love it. Hey, Matt. That's fine. All right, so now I'm gonna write chorizo meatloaf on here. And it is November, can you believe it? November of 24. All right, and this is going in my freezer. I'll probably get it flat so it can score better. And then I have a pre-made meatloaf ready to go. So I can pull this out and then all you gotta do is put it in the pan and throw it in the oven. Yay! All right, we're gonna let that chorizo cool down for a little bit, and then we got the meatloaf and the chicken in the oven, and then the backup meatloaf is in the freezer, so that's good to go. And I'm just gonna let this cool down, we'll package it up, and then we'll go from there. And then I'll bring you back when the chicken and the meatloaf look like it's close to being done. So it's been an hour on the chicken. I went ahead and pulled it out. It is done. It is temping past 165. Plus, if you look here, you see how it's kind of pulling up off of the tray and it's separating? So it's like already flaking apart. So I would say that is done. And then we have our meatloaf out. It's not done. I just wanted to remove it from the bottom and get it up more. It does have a little bit of grease here that I am going to pour out. And then I'm gonna put the foil back on and put it back in the 400 degree oven for 15 more minutes. All right, guys, it all came together. The kids were home and stuff, so I didn't finish up recording the last bit of it. But that meatloaf turned out really good. Like it's super um, firm, you know, like sometimes, um, I guess crumbly is what I'm looking at. Like sometimes meatloaf's crumbly. And you got like the chunks of the salsa in there, made it nice and moist. You can see the difference of the pork versus the chorizo. Mm. That's really good. I like the chorizo in there. Different kind of flavor. All right. Mashed potatoes, made them in the Instant Pot. Um, Idaho potatoes, butter, half and half. Salt, that's all it takes. Mm-hmm. And then my green beans did a little bit of onion, bacon grease, and Worcestershire sauce. Chicken I have over here cooling, and I'm going to shred it and then freeze some of the meat. And then this bones here I'm going to keep, but there's not very many bones in the breast here, so... I'm not going to make stock out of that because it's not quite enough. So I'm just going to put that in a freezer bag. And then that's ready to go. I would say one of those is good enough for one meal. So I'm going to be able to get four meals for $8. So $2 a meal for, this, for a portion of chicken is a great deal. And then we were able to make a delicious meatloaf. And I got one in the freezer for next time. I would say this was a successful day. Thank you for coming along, seeing what I pick up my store, how I save my family money, and what meals I cook. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time on Mama Baird's. Bye.